We told you all about it last week in Davos. The buzz started growing about DeepSeek's latest AI model being more efficient while running on a lot less, a lot less advanced NVIDIA chips. DeepSeek just released a new multimodal AI model family called Janus Pro, and it's already making waves. According to DeepSeek's internal benchmarks, Janus Pro 7B outperforms OpenAI's Dolly 3, Google's MU3 Gen, and Stability AI's SDXL on key AI evaluation benchmarks like GenEval and DPG Bench. But here's what's even more surprising. DeepSeek didn't rely on billion-dollar R&D budgets or the most advanced AI chips. Instead, they used NVIDIA's H800 chips, which are less powerful than the high-end AI chips restricted by U.S. export controls. Yet, Janus Pro still manages to deliver performance on par with models trained on far superior hardware. This raises a massive question. Is the AI industry overfunded and overcomplicating development? Or did DeepSeek just find a smarter, more cost-efficient way to train AI? What is Janus Pro and why it's making headlines? DeepSeek might be a new player in AI, but they've already proven they can compete with the biggest names in tech. After launching R1, an AI model that matched GPT-4's performance at a fraction of the cost, they're back with Janus Pro, an AI model that goes beyond just generating images. Unlike Dolly 3, which specializes in image generation, Janus Pro is a multimodal AI model, meaning it can handle multiple tasks within a single framework. It can generate images based on text prompts, analyze and interpret images, identifying objects, relationships, and details, and even handle text-based tasks, effectively bridging the gap between visual and text AI systems. What makes Janus Pro stand out is its open source nature. DeepSeek has released the model weights and code on Hugging Face, making it freely available for anyone to download, modify, and experiment with. Unlike OpenAI's closed API models, Janus Pro is MIT licensed, meaning companies can integrate it into their own applications without restrictions. Another key advantage is its compute efficiency. Instead of relying on expensive high-end AI chips, DeepSeek trained Janus Pro using lower tier NVIDIA H800 chips, yet the model still delivers performance on par with billion dollar AI systems. Destroying the competition, DeepSeek isn't just making claims, they're backing them up with real world tests and benchmarks. And so far, Janus Pro is outperforming some of the biggest names in AI. One of its standout features is better prompt adherence. Many AI image generators, like Dolly 3, known to ignore specific instructions in user prompts, often producing results that deviate from what was requested. Early tests indicate that Janus Pro follows instructions more accurately, delivering outputs that align more closely with user expectations. Another major advantage is its true multimodal capabilities. Unlike Dolly 3 or SDXL, which focus exclusively on image generation, Janus Pro can generate images, analyze existing ones, and handle text tasks, all within a single model. This makes it far more versatile than models designed for just one function. Additionally, Janus Pro is designed for efficiency, making it less dependent on expensive AI hardware. DeepSeek trained the model using widely available NVIDIA H800 chips, proving that high-performance AI doesn't necessarily require cutting-edge, high-cost GPUs. However, Janus Pro isn't without its limitations. One of its drawbacks is lower resolution output. While most Janus Pro models generate images at 384 by 384 resolution, only the largest version reaches 768 by 768 whereas Dolly 3 and SDXL can generate much higher resolution images. Artistic refinement is another area where Janus Pro falls short. While it excels in object recognition and accuracy, it lacks the artistic creativity and fine details found in models like Midjourney and Stable Diffusion. Additionally, it struggles with abstract reasoning, unlike GPT-4 Vision, which can interpret deeper symbolic meanings in images, Janus Pro tends to provide more literal descriptions. But here's what changes everything. Janus Pro is open source. That means anyone in the AI community can fine tune and improve it over time. If developers start optimizing the model and training it on new data sets, Janus Pro could evolve into something far more powerful. And if that happens, this could completely reshape how AI models are built. DeepSeek's R1 model, 
Before Janus Pro, DeepSeek was already making waves with their R1 model, an RDEI system that reportedly matched GPT-4's performance while costing just five or six million dollars to develop. To put that into perspective, OpenAI reportedly spent over 100 million training GPT-4. That means DeepSeek's R1 was developed for nearly 20 times less, yet it still delivered competitive results. This immediately raised major concerns in the AI industry. If DeepSeek could build a GPT-4 level model for under $10 million, what does that say about the massive budgets OpenAI, Google, and Microsoft are spending on AI development? For years, the belief has been that cutting-edge AI requires billions in R&D and access to the most advanced computing infrastructure. But DeepSeek's success suggests otherwise. Now, with Janus Pro outperforming major multimodal AI models, it's clear that DeepSeek isn't just lucky. They've now released two AI models that directly challenge industry leaders, and they've done it with significantly lower development costs. This raises an even bigger question. If DeepSeek's approach is sustainable, it could completely disrupt the AI industry. It might force big tech to rethink how AI models are built, making efficiency and cost effectiveness just as important as raw computing power. The real question now is, can OpenAI, Google, and Microsoft afford to ignore DeepSeek? Or is it possible that they're already falling behind? US versus China AI war. DeepSeek's rise isn't just shaking up the AI industry, it's sending shockwaves through global markets. The company trained Janus Pro using NVIDIA's H800 chips, not the high-end A100 or H100 chips that US export controls have restricted. This means China is still managing to build cutting-edge AI models despite U.S. sanctions, and that's a game-changer. For years, the U.S. government has been tightening restrictions on AI chip exports to China, particularly targeting NVIDIA's most powerful GPUs, which are essential for training large-scale AI models. The goal? Slow down China's AI progress. But DeepSeek's Janus Pro is proof that these restrictions aren't stopping China from competing at the highest level. They use lower tier hardware, yet their AI model is matching or outperforming models trained with the best chips on the market. NVIDIA's stock reportedly lost nearly $593 billion on market value as part of a broader sell-off triggered by DeepSeek's success in shifting AI market dynamics. In total, major tech stocks saw a combined loss of approximately $1 trillion in market capitalization. Investors suddenly started questioning whether the AI gold rush built on the assumption that companies need billions in computing power, was overhyped. If AI development doesn't require the most expensive chips, then NVIDIA's dominance could be at risk. It's not just NVIDIA feeling the pressure. If billion-dollar AI models aren't necessary, what does that mean for OpenAI, Google, and Microsoft, companies that have spent billions on AI training? The release of DeepSeek AI from a Chinese company should be a wake-up call for our industries that we need to be laser-focused on. Even former President Trump weighed in, stating that DeepSeek's rise should be a wake-up call for U.S. tech firms, emphasizing that America needs to stay ahead in AI innovation. With geopolitical tensions rising and China proving that it can compete despite U.S. restrictions, the AI race is no longer just about technology. It's about global power. Cyber attacks and the rise of DeepSeek AI Assistant. DeepSeek isn't just competing in AI research. It's also dominating the consumer AI market. Their chatbot app soared to number one on Apple's App Store in the US, surpassing ChatGPT and every other AI assistant on the market. That's a massive milestone showing that users are actively seeking alternatives to OpenAI, Google, and Microsoft's AI models. But just as DeepSeek's success was peaking, the company was hit by a cyber attack. The attack caused temporary service shutdowns, limiting access to their chatbot and AI services. Was it just a coincidence or was someone trying to slow them down? The timing of the attack raised eyebrows. DeepSeek had just taken the top spot in AI chatbots and suddenly their systems were under attack. Cybersecurity analysts have pointed out that AI companies are prime targets for cyber attacks especially when they start challenging industry giants. Whether this was a random incident or something more coordinated, it highlighted just how disruptive DeepSeek's rise has been. Despite the attack, DeepSeek's momentum hasn't slowed down. 
Their chatbot remains one of the most downloaded AI apps, and their AI models continue to gain attention worldwide. The bigger question now is, who's watching DeepSeek and who might want to stop them? How DeepSeek beat big tech at their own game. So how did DeepSeek manage to build an AI model that competes with billion-dollar projects? Their secret weapon open-source AI. Unlike OpenAI, which keeps its models behind closed APIs, DeepSeek leveraged in open-source frameworks from Medava and Alibaba Bid to build their AI systems. This is where things get interesting, because Meta's AI researchers are reportedly frustrated. Why? Because DeepSeek used their own open-source work to leapfrog them. This is the paradox of open-source AI. Once a company like Meta releases their AI code, anyone, including competitors, can use it. DeepSeek took advantage of Meta's open-source Llama models and Alibaba's AI research, fine-tuned them, and created an AI model that now threatens the dominance of Western tech giants. Now, the open-source AI community is rallying behind DeepSeek. Developers are actively experimenting with Janus Pro, improving it, and expanding its capabilities. If this trend continues, DeepSeek could become the center of a new wave of AI innovation, where smaller companies and independent researchers challenge the biggest names in tech. And here's why that matters. Big tech has always controlled AI development. OpenAI, Google, and Microsoft decide what models get released, how they're used, and who gets access. But with DeepSeek fully open sourcing its models, the AI playing field is changing. If more companies follow this approach, big tech's control over AI could start to weaken. So what happens next? DeepSeek's rise hasn't gone unnoticed. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, acknowledged DeepSeek's achievements but made one thing clear. OpenAI is not changing its high-cost approach. Instead, OpenAI plans to invest even more in computing power and infrastructure, doubling down on their belief that bigger AI models require massive resources. Meanwhile, Meta, Google, and Amazon have already allocated $310 billion for AI infrastructure by 2025. The assumption is that more data, more GPUs, and more money will continue to give them an advantage. But here's the problem. DeepSeek just proved that a billion-dollar budget isn't necessary to build a competitive AI model. Big tech is now at a crossroads. Do they keep spending billions on massive AI projects? Or do they rethink their approach in light of what DeepSeek has accomplished? One thing is clear, DeepSeek has changed the AI game. They proved that billion-dollar AI models aren't the only way forward. They built an AI model that competes with OpenAI, Google, and Microsoft, and they did it with a fraction of the resources. If a startup can outcompete OpenAI and Google, then who's next? Are we about to see a wave of smaller, more agile AI companies disrupting the industry? The AI war just got a new major player, Yeesh. And if DeepSeek's success continues, this could be only the beginning. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.